known as the Saint of the Gutters, meet Mother Teresa. Born in 1910 in what is now the capital of Macedonia, Mother Teresa's Albanian parents were devout Catholics. She was raised by her mother after her father died when she was just eight. I think my mother was a very holy uh, woman, and so she imparted that love for God and love for the neighbor very much. At 18, she left home to become a nun. After training in Ireland, the church sent her to India, where she taught girls at a Catholic school in Calcutta. But Mother Teresa felt compelled to do more, so she took to the streets of Calcutta, where she started an open-air school for children living in slums. In 1950, she launched the Missionaries of Charity that cared for homeless children, provided medicine for people with leprosy, and started hospices for the dying. She later expanded beyond India, serving over 100 cities around the globe. She was honored by Queen Elizabeth and Ronald Reagan. Most of us talk about kindness and compassion, but Mother Teresa, the saint of the gutters, lives it. She also received the Nobel Peace Prize. We are wanting to proclaim the good news to the poor, that God loves them, that we love them, that they are somebody to us. Though she had her detractors, critics denounced her celebrity, accused her of misusing donations, and called her medical care primitive. Mother Teresa was often named one of the most admired women in the world. She died in 1997 at the age of 87, and nearly two decades later, Mother Teresa officially became a saint. It's not how much we do, but how much love we put in the doing that makes all the difference.